Oh, so. Russell Wilson Jr. the third just called in. Hi, Russ. How are you? <laughs> Man. What's up, Danny? How you feeling? You know, I almost say that on the highlights that I, I say Russell Wilson Jr. the third. I almost say it because McLovin is the one who uh, said that about Robert Griffin Jr. the third. So it's a habit now. So now I've been calling you Russell Wilson Jr. the third. So glad to have you. Just letting you know, uh, I'm thinking of you when I'm doing those highlights. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in California here, right on my bye week right now. So I uh, we got we got a tough win we got a tough win against the uh, Rams, obviously, and then we ended up um, coming back down here and staying down here, and so. You know, getting that sunshine, you know, the, the vitamin D, you don't get very much of it, uh, you know, during, in Seattle at this time of year. You know, that Rams defense is pretty good. Uh, th- did you take a beating? Yeah, man. <laughs> I got hit a couple times. Uh, you know, Aaron, Aaron Donald, man, that guy, he is super special, man. <laughs> I, you know, you, you know, you play a lot of great players. I've, I've, play, I've been fortunate to play against a lot of great players. And when you find, at playing quarterback, when you find a defensive tackle that may be arguably one of the best players on the field every time you step on the field, that's when you know a guy's really good because you know, you're normally thinking about corners or safeties or, or some linebackers and stuff like that. But when you have a defensive tackle inside, you know, uh, you know, trying to cause havoc, that's uh, that's uh, that's always a problem. So, um, but we we were able to pull through and um, he came with a huge win. Yeah, but it almost sounds like can you hear Aaron Donald coming? It you know you you can see him, but it almost he's he, might, he strikes me as a guy you could hear coming. <laughs> His footsteps. Yeah, yeah. I, I can. Uh, I, I. I can. You can smell him. You can whiff. Them, you know. You, 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 you smell him. You kind of just got. I got to go. You know. It's one of those things that it's just. It's not a. It's not a pretty sight if he gets there. <laughs> so, you know. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's one of those things that you can hear his footsteps, and he's. He's. Uh, he's fast, man. He can really move, and uh, so you got to find ways. Find ways to get away from him. What is that feeling like to be on the sidelines when you're watching Jared Goff and the Rams with the. Uh, possibility of beating you guys with the last possession that's a great question you know honestly we we've been through a lot you know we, we've we've uh, we've uh, pushed through the test of time man we've been through some amazing amazing games and some amazing wins we've had some tough losses and you know it actually took me back to uh you know after we won, won the game it actually took me back and i remembered in 2013 i believe it was that you won the super bowl we we um we had a tough game, came down to fourth down, actually at the Rams in St. Louis, came down to fourth down there on the five-yard line going in or something like that. And uh, and it took four downs, and we stopped them. And, uh, you know, it was a crazy game. It was a crazy uh, you know, NFC West-style football game. And sure enough, uh, we were able to pull through, and it kind of made me think back to that game. And, you know, I think that to be able to go to where we want to go in any team, as you watch the baseball playoffs and the NBA finals, and you watch, obviously, you know, the NFL playoffs and everything, you know, it, it's always about, you know, who can, who can measure up, who can pull through in tough moments. And you know, it, it's, it's those one or two plays that make a difference. And we were able to do that. And, uh, you know, fortunately, uh, you know, our defense made some amazing plays throughout that game. What the, what is wrong with the offense though, Russell? Cause it feels like the first three quarters, it's kind of conservative or boring. And then all of a sudden it, Pete Carroll says, Hey Russ, go out there and win the game for us. I mean, that's the feeling I get. It, all, it almost feels like that's the offensive game plan. Not that it is, but why is it not consistent or good? Well, no, I, th- I think I think we're still we're still growing, we're still getting better. I, I think that you know we we're able to score a bunch of points there in the, in, the, in the second half of of you know the Sunday night game against the Colts. So we we were able to uh, you know score you know get 10, 10 quick points there you know, right before half, which was huge in that last game we played, and so. You know, it, it, it all, it's all about, you know, executing and just finishing plays and finishing drives and being great on third down. And when we do that, um, we're really tough to beat. We're really tough to stop. And, and um, you know, we can score as many, you know, you know, we got so many different weapons from Jimmy Graham, as you know, and to Doug Baldwin to even Tyler Lockett and Paul Richardson. We have some guys that played really special the other night. You think about J.D. McKissick and what he did the other day, um, you know, under the lights was pretty cool. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to get hot, and we're going to we believe in that. He's Russell Wilson Jr. the third uh, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. I hear you have a new app. Yeah, man, Trace Me app. It's pretty. Uh, yeah, everybody check it out. You know, I, I'm actually. Uh, it's been a pretty amazing process. We've had some amazing investors involved, and in, you know, uh, Madrona, and we've had 
Um, you know, we have the, you know Bezos and and uh, Joe Sai. Whoa, and, whoa! You, know, Ali you got and, you got the big yeah, guy. Really, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's been it's been pretty amazing, man. And the whole idea is, you know. Uh, it's a it's a social media app for 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 celebrities and their super fans. Think about think about if you're a super fan of of uh, of I don't know Sierra. If you're a super fan of if you're a super fan of um, some <laughs> basketball team, let's say that let's say the Warriors. Or if you're a super fan of um, you know other athletes or other celebrities, whatever they are. Well, imagine if you could go into the world and really understand the world, get VIP access, and and uh, get a better understanding of their world and get exclusive opportunities to see them backstage or see them. You know, um, pregame or see them. You know, get get a get a signed jersey, get the cleats early. You know, so it's been an amazing process and amazing development, and uh, it's been an overwhelming enthusiasm behind it, and so it's been really exciting. And so, uh, you know, and we, we got some pretty cool people. Our our, our CEO, his name his name's Jason McKean, and he's uh, really really special. Came from the Hulu world, uh, came from Zuwili, which is an e-commerce company from for women, which is really really good company based out of Seattle. So. Uh, yeah, trace me, man. You go go download the app. Trace me. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty exciting, and um, there are going to be more celebrities and entertainers coming soon your way. So it's it's pretty exciting. So you get a sneak peek into my world and kind of see what that is like. Did you just name drop your wife there? <laughs> well, well, yeah. She's um she's going to have her, her trace me account, and there's going to be several others. So she, she's uh, I know I know you uh, I know you know her pretty well. Yeah, we uh, starred in a movie. We were uh, co-workers in a movie. Co-starred in a movie. Exactly. She has no idea. Who, she doesn't remember exactly. anything about me. No, she does remember you. She, I was telling her I was in a million show right now. She told me to tell you hello. So well, I like I'm not that. sure what that's all about. Dan. No, I, I, I met her at a restaurant, uh, St. Elmo's in Indianapolis. And there was no spark, Russ, just oh, to yeah, let okay. you know. There was no spark. Good old, good old St. Elmo's. I'm, I'm glad you remember the location and everything. We were down in the basement. <laughs> we were down in the basement, and uh, there was a lot of people there. It was a romantic setting, a lot of people there, but trust me, there was there was no spark. Just letting you know, Russ. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, Dan, so, so, you know, one of the cool, one of the cool parts that, uh, that, you know, I wanted to come, you know, we, we wanted to talk to you about, you know, is – um, so I did this funny thing. I, I think you would appreciate. It. You should do something like this one day. But we went down to the campus. Maybe maybe you guys sometime have a Dan Patrick show at, at a university. Okay. But we went down to the university, University of Washington, right down the street, and uh, I, I I dressed up as a as a police officer, right? And and me, and my security guard, we dressed up as police officers and put a put a beard on, mask on, everything like that. And, and uh, <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. you can be a police I, officer I, hey, with I, me one day. We can I, we can surprise the kids. But we were able to uh, we were able to hand out multi grooming kits to these kids and six different with six different attachments and all that. But it was absolutely hilarious. When you get a chance, you got to see this video. But I would love to have you as my uh, as my guest star one day. Uh, you know, maybe maybe you, can, you and I can be my guest star for Russell Wilson. <laughs> brought to you by Braun. Bye, Russ. The Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on Audience.